Okay, so today we're going to do geometric probabilities. This is actually very easy to do um, because geometric probabilities is just like normal probability. A normal probability is what we learned yesterday, which is success over total. So that's all we're trying to do. We're going to see our success over our total. And like, let's say in this example, now I've poorly drawn this circle to kind of fit this square. Um, but let's say for this example that we want to find the area that this circle takes up compared to the square. And most times we have this like shaded in to let you know that that is what you're looking for. But um, it's just not easy for me to draw that on here. So I did not. Uh, but uh, we're going to find our success is hitting the circle and our total is the square. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the area of this square. So the area of this square or the total would be, well you do length times width to find the area of a square. So that would be 5 times 5. So our total area is 25. And now we're going to find the area of this circle. And if you ever forget how to find the area of anything, just on Google go area of circle. And Google will actually have this nice little formula for you, and it will even tell you the area of these things, which is really, really nice. Um, but for us, an area of the circle is pi r squared. Well, you might go, well, my circle doesn't have anything in there. But it does tell us how far this length is, which that length is the same as that bottom. So that length is 5, and a radius would be half of that. So half of 5 would be 2.5. So I'm going to go back to Google and let it calculate it. And our radius, we said, was 2.5. So this is about 19.63. So this was about 19.63. And now we're going to find that probability. So that probability, if I pull up my calculator, would be 19.63 divided by 25. And that's going to be about 79%. So we have, whoops, we have about a 79% chance of hitting that circle. Let's do another one. Okay, so let's say we're going to do the geometric probability again, and we're going to find the odds of us hitting, or the probabilities of us hitting different shapes. Um, these are obviously not drawn to scale, because that's 8 and that's 3, and that looks bigger than that, but uh, uh, I just tried to give you a good example of these things. So... A lot of times these things aren't perfectly drawn to scale. The examples today hopefully are a little bit more than this. But So we're going to find the probabilities of some things. So the first one we're going to find is the probability that we hit a triangle. Then we're going to find the probability that we hit that trapezoid. And then we're going to find the probability that we hit both. And then we're going to find the probability that we hit neither. And again, we're going to find the probability that we hit the triangle, which you always do probabilities by doing your total over uh, that individual success spot. So we have to find our total, which that would be 12 times 15, which is 180. So our total for all these things are going to be 180. And then we want to find the area of that triangle, so I'm just going to go again to Google. And it wants our base and our height. So our base was 8 and our height was 3. So that's 12. Um, and then that would be 12 over 180. So 7%. So not very high, but we do have some percent chance of hitting that. So that would be 7%. Let's do our trapezoid now. So again, that's going to be over 180 because that's our total, but now we need a trapezoid. And then our base, our top base is 4, our bottom base is 3, and our height was 2. So that's area 7, so that would be 7 over 180, which that's going to be less. It's going to be a teeny tiny percent, probably about 3% or something like that. 
But let's double check. Oh, 4%. So close. So if that's 7% and that's 4%, both would be 11%. And then neither, well, all this should be 100%. So if we want neither, that would be, we start out with 100% and we've used 11 on both of the shapes. So that remaining area should be 89%. So again, when we're finding all of these probabilities, all you have to do is find the area and put it over the total. Let's do one, one last example, and then I'm going to give you a hint for the last example of today because it's going to be tough. Okay, so let's figure this probability out. So let's say I want the probability that I hit that 200 marker, like this 200 point marker, 200 uh, degree marker. So again, you want to do your total over what percent you have. So this would be, well, how many degrees are in a circle? Well, if you added this all up, there should be 360 degrees in a circle. And we've hit, we're trying to hit the 200. So that would be 200 degrees of it. So that percentage would just be 200 divided by 360, which is 55%. And then you would do, well, probably 56%. I should have rounded that up, right? What was that one? Yeah, 56%. So, um, and then you do the same thing for 70 and the same thing for 90. So, on all the things today, just put your successes over your total, and that's how you'd find that out. Let's just look at the last one and think about it, because uh, this is... Okay, so we have this dartboard. And on this dartboard, you want to find the probability of just, just the yellow. And so here's my hint for today. You're going to want to find the probability of your total, which your total would be this entire outer circle, which if you know what a, uh, how to find the area of a circle, you would need this radius and then times it by everything, and that's how you'll find your total. And the hard part's not the total. The hard part is just getting this yellow area. And the yellow area is tough because Google will not tell you how to find the area of a donut. Because this is what you need to find. You need to find the area of the donut. So the hint is, think about how you'd create a donut if you couldn't already make it with that hole in the center. So just think about if you had to make a donut, you couldn't put a hole in the center, how could you force that to happen? And then how would that look like in math terms? Like if you took out the center, what kind of operation would that be? So if you're thinking about this question, again, I would start the exact same way you've always done. Find your total. And then after that, think about how you're going to get that success. And when you do that, um, just find what that probability is approximately, and then you should be good.